master in uh, at my old dojo in the Black Forest with a lot of students. Today I want to show you and declare as far as my English is reaching, it's not my native uh, language, um, to declare the principles and the fine details of the first Seke Yayo Kata, uh, which is not a style, Seke Yayo, it's a part of Kendo. Musushin uh, Ryu or Katori Shinto Ryu or uh, styles like that are old styles, Seke Yayo is not. So it's a bit more like a ritual to learn how to move the sword and how to move the body. First, when you take the sword, be sure that your <coughs> thumb is securing the sword, that it does not go out. And don't do it in the middle, please do it at the side, so if it comes out, you don't cut yourself. And uh, in Seke Yaido, you put the sword in the middle, through the obi, and here it's good to um, put it up so that the sword is horizontal. If it falls down, you can't grip it. The sagio is put here and uh, you have the tsuba in the middle of the body, in front of the stomach, so the sword is a bit like that, not as in Musushin, Musushin in Ryu, more to the front. Okay, the hands are at the sides and uh, the feet are parallel. Some of the points I am declaring, maybe they are different in what you have learned. That's because Seke Yaido is officially always the same, it's written down in the book, but in reality, in each country, I've studied it in three countries, in each country it is taught a bit different and as I'm doing Seite Yaido since 15 years, from year to year it changes a bit, slightly. So don't mind if I declare it a bit different than you have learned it. Neither yours nor mine is false. Okay. You stand here, the knees are not uh, straight, they are bent a bit. And your regard is to the front. You watch, you're watching your uh, enemy and uh, then you grip the sword, secure it and go down without using uh, your enemy in the eyes and you knock the hakama a bit, go down with the left knee first, with the right knee second, go on the knees, put down the feet and slowly you go down. So you're watching your enemy, and this all is sanchi. It's very uh, quiet, it's very cool, but it's with energy to the front. Then you put your sagio with the left hand to the left side, otherwise, it could happen that you want to grip and you. Stuck, get stuck here. My sagio is a bit longer than yours, I'm sure. With the short sagio, it stops already here. Okay. Now, the sword is horizontal, the tsuba is in front of the stomach, and your hands are in the middle of your. I don't know. <laughs> and the elbows are. To the body. You watch your enemy and you calm down. Three or four more breaths. Then you see that your enemy is doing something. You grip to the 
the song, both hands at the same time, and by going up, by lifting the body, the thumb loosens the song. It's like that. We are going down. Never go forward like that because you lose time when you go forward. Now the, the other one is coming. So take the saw, tear the saw, and while you are turning it with the left hand, not with the right hand, you put up your feet, your toes. Coming faster and cut. You cut to the side of your body or to the other one's body, so if you miss him, you still control him. This is nearly horizontal, it's going a bit downward, like that. Huh? The height of the tip is like the, this part of the tsuba. And here you do sayabiki. Not turning round too much, saya biki, so that you see the saya from the other side. Then the left knee is going forward to the right foot, and at the same time, puri kapuri, the sword is going up to the head, and the left hand is going here to the middle. The saya is like that again, and the left hand goes up. The right hand is over the top of the head, and the left hand is in front of it, like that. Not like that, and not like that. Like that. And not horizontal, 45 degrees. Then you cut down with, and you stop here, one fist away from your body, and the sword is horizontal, and the foot is going forward. You're watching, still watching your enemy. Then left hand is going to the obi, and you do great chivalry, going upward. When you are down here, these two are. Upward, not bent. You see? You go up, you go forward, you go backwards. Here, when you are here, the tsuka is pointing to the fallen enemy, and here the tip is pointing to the fallen enemy. Sometimes people teach it like that. I have learned it like that. You go forward, knees stay bent, left foot goes backwards, so when you go down, you still have these positions for the feet. Now you go forward with your hand, secure your tsuba, and here you close the koyuchi. You go forward with the right hand and put the tsuba over the saw, not leaving the body. The small finger stays in contact with the cloth. Then you go in and go down. Now watching the fallen enemy. First time fast from here to here. The difficult part is putting the tip inside without cutting yourself. That you have to